One, listening to music on a Samsung has just gotten 10 times better because One UI lets you adapt the sound based on your hearing conditions. So no matter if you're in your early 20s with excellent ears or in your 60s when things have gotten really bad, a hidden setting lets you create a sound profile to adapt the sound to your hearing. To find it, search up Adapt Sound within the settings. And by the way, if you like these cool keyboard typing effects, stick around because I'll show you how you can get them. Then do the hearing test with your headphones on. It'll play some frequencies to see if you can hear them. And based on those results, it'll create a unique sound profile. And trust me, having that enabled will seriously make a difference in your listening experience. Two, I can set multiple wallpapers on my lock screen so that every time I turn on the screen, I get presented with a new background to look at. To do this, hop into the gallery app, long press the images you want to set, hit more, set as wallpaper, and hit done. It's that easy. And by the way, all these beautiful wallpapers that you just saw were created by our team. You can grab them and these awesome widgets on our Patreon link down below. Three, whenever I tap this widget on my home screen, it'll automatically open the Galaxy Store to update all the apps for me. And I can even do the same thing for all of my outdated Play Store apps. How did I do this? Well, I downloaded Good Lock from the Galaxy Store, and then I downloaded Routines Plus. From there, I created two custom routines, one for the Galaxy Store and another for the Play Store. To create them yourself, tap Run a Touch Macro within Routines Plus, then tap on Touch Macro, hit Add, select the app, I'll do the Play Store, hit Next, and then record the taps that lead to updating all the apps. Once done, you can hit Stop and Save. Give the Touch Macro a name and hit Save. Then select the Touch Macro you just created and hit Done. I would also change the routine name because that's what's going to show up on your home screen. Finally, when you're done, hit save and then a menu will pop up to add the widget to your home screen. Now, every time you tap it, it'll automatically update your apps. And by the way, you can do this for just about anything. It especially comes in handy if you're a gamer. For all of my power users out there, you most likely use split screen or pop-up view to multitask. Well, there's a faster way to open these apps in those modes. You can just jump into the recents page, long press any of them, and drag them to the top or bottom to open them in split screen. Or drag them to the center for a pop-up view. Or if you receive a notification, you can do the same thing by long pressing and dragging it out. Very cool. By the way, if you like that I jumped straight into the action, a quick thumbs up will show me that YouTube intros aren't necessary. Thanks guys. One UI does a fantastic job of letting you theme the UI with the same colors as your wallpapers. But what if you want to choose your own custom color? Well, to do this, you'll need to download Theme Park from the Galaxy Store. Then inside the app, tap on the three dots in the top right corner. Hit Change Color Palette. Select any color you like and hit OK. Not really convenient, but at least Samsung allows it. Another trick that most people don't know about is that Samsung lets you double tap the back of the phone to launch an app or action. Hell, I can even do a triple tap to launch something else. To do this, download Registar from within the GoodLock app and within the back tap action, you can enable those double tap and triple taps. Bixby is cool, but some people prefer Google Assistant. And with One UI, you can remap the power key to quickly launch it. To do this, you once again have to go into Registar and then select Side Key Press and Hold Action. Choose Access Your Google Voice Assistant and then long press the power button and you can start asking Google anything. Believe it or not, Samsung phones have a volume limit when you're using headphones. To remove it, press the volume key, expand the volume panel, tap the gear, tap on the three dots, media volume limit, and increase the slider to the max. Now you'll be able to damage your eardrums even more. I love the always on display on Samsung phones because it's so customizable and I recently added my own How To Men logo to make my phone more efficient. If you want to do the same thing for your business, go into the settings and search clock style. Tap on the first option and then switch to the image clock tab, then choose gallery and find your logo. Hit done and now you're official. Now, even though One UI is still very secure, it still can't protect you from every cyber attack 
malware, or tracker. So what I do to stay protected online is use a VPN. My go-to has always been Surfshark because it's literally the cheapest option out there, costing less than $2.50 per month. Plus, there's no real risk in trying it out since they provide a 30-day money-back guarantee. And since I can use it across all my devices to make everything safe and private, even when I'm outside of my home, I think it's a huge steal. If I'm at a hotel or coffee shop and need to use their public Wi-Fi, Surfshark will not allow anyone to see what I'm browsing or know where I'm at. Or when I can't seem to access certain websites like Netflix or specific YouTube videos due to any geoblocks, Surfshark lets me easily change my virtual location so that I can access those sites or videos. Even when I want to get the best deals when shopping online, Surfshark stops websites from overcharging me just because of my location or device. There are so many reasons to start using Surfshark, I'll even give you an exclusive deal. If you use my link in the description and enter the promo code HTM, you'll get an extra three months for free. Deals like this don't come around too often, so sign up today to start browsing safely and privately at an affordable rate. Anyways, Samsung has a lot of very powerful automation tools that can really come in handy in certain scenarios. Like I recently made this one for when I accidentally lose my phone or someone steals it. Basically, I just text myself a specific message like track location in all caps. And then my Samsung phone will automatically turn on the location, Wi-Fi and mobile data, enter power saving mode, max out the volumes and say the following text out loud. This phone has been stolen. It's been tracked and authorities have been contacted. You'll think yourself in the future if you enable this routine. Just scan the QR code on the screen if you'd like to quickly save this routine. Just make sure you have the Routines Plus module installed from within the GoodLock app. Another useful automation is one that lets you automatically enable the mobile data when the Wi-Fi strength is really low. That way you get the fastest speeds possible even when your Wi-Fi network is being slow. You just go to the modes and routine section of the system settings, then switch to the routines tab, hit the discover icon, tap on get the most out of your phone, select seamless connection. If you like, you can even choose to do one bar or less and finally hit save. I can also have my Samsung phone notify me once the phone has fully been charged. The edge lighting will appear, it'll also vibrate and the phone will say the following out loud. Fully charged battery, fully charged. Unplug charger. To get this, go back to that routine's discover page, go down to battery, and save the get notified when fully charged routine. There's also plenty of hidden tricks to extend the battery life. If you search background usage limits within the settings and enable this feature, the OS will automatically put any unused apps to sleep. And you can even see the list within the deep sleep menu. If you'd like to add even more apps, press the plus icon, this way, nothing runs in the background without you knowing about it. Just keep in mind that any apps that you put into deep sleep may not be able to push notifications right away. Another thing I like to do to extend the battery life is to have Samsung automatically enable power saving mode based on my usage patterns. To do this, I search for power saving in the settings. Tap on the three dots in the top right corner, hit adaptive power saving and enable that. That way, power saving is only enabled when necessary and not annoying. Sometimes, your usage patterns could change over time, especially if you owned your phone for over two years. And that's not necessarily a bad thing, but Samsung's adaptive battery, an AI feature that tracks your phone's usage patterns to extend your battery life, may end up following your old usage patterns, thereby providing inaccurate results and not properly extending the battery life. So it's good to reset the battery information file once in a blue moon so that the phone gets a fresh start and gets proper phone usage readings. To do this, go into the phone app and dial star pound 9900 pound. From there, a secret page will pop up that is mainly used by Samsung's tech support for customers with battery problems. Here, you can tap on the battery stats reset button and you can restart the phone to reset the battery information file to have a fresh start on your usage patterns. As I said, you should probably only do this if you're having battery issues and your phone is older than two years. If it's relatively new, then this most likely isn't necessary. Another thing to keep track of after owning your phone for so long is the battery's health. This will determine whether or not you need to take your phone in for repair to physically replace the battery. To check this, go into the Samsung's members app tap the support tab, phone diagnostics, 
battery status and hit test again. If it doesn't say normal, you'll know it's time to swap it out. One UI also provides a ton of secret ways to improve the entertainment on your device. For example, there's a way to temporarily increase the screen brightness and make the colors more vibrant whenever you watch a video. Doesn't matter if you're on TikTok, YouTube, Netflix, or just watching a video from the gallery. Search up video brightness within the settings and switch it from normal to bright. When doing any intensive tasks like video editing or multitasking, there's a way to boost the phone's performance so that everything feels a bit smoother. Just go into the settings, tap on battery and device care, battery, more battery settings, processing speed, and change it to maximum for the ultimate processing performance. Just remember that this mode will consume the battery much more rapidly, so make sure to switch back to optimized after you're done. It also doesn't apply to games, but within the Game Launcher app, every game or app added automatically gets performance priority. Finally, some games still don't fully expand to the edges of the screen, leaving you with black bars at the top. Super annoying. Luckily, Samsung lets you force any app or game to expand to the edges without distorting anything or losing quality. Just search camera cutout within the settings and then search for the app or game you'd like to modify. Then tap on it and change your option to show camera cutout. Now the app or game should fully take advantage of all those beautiful pixels. Next, I'm going to show you some settings that will extend the lifespan of your Samsung device and keep it nice and healthy. I created this unique routine that disables the fast charging at night when hanging to bed. I did this because it's been proven that fast charging slowly damages and wears out the battery a little over time. And since you're not using your phone while you sleep, why do you need it to charge so fast? So this routine will charge it slowly at night so that you can have a healthier battery. If you want this routine, you can once again scan the QR code on the screen. It's also not a bad idea to restart your phone once in a blue moon to keep it in the best condition possible. Doing so will clean the memory and refresh any background processes to keep the phone running smooth. A secret option within the settings will do the work for you by restarting the phone only when it's needed and when you're not using it. You can find it by searching for auto optimization within the settings and enabling restart when needed. And unfortunately, when it does come time to bring in your phone for repair, it'd be a smart idea to enable maintenance mode. This will not allow the person who's fixing your phone to access sensitive data like pictures, messages, and accounts. They'll only be able to use the pre-installed apps and anything they download or change will not be saved once you type in your password to leave maintenance mode. To find this feature, search up maintenance mode within the settings. Now, as promised from the beginning, here's how you can get those cool typing effects within the Samsung keyboard. You need to download Keys Cafe from within the Galaxy Store or the Good Lock app, enable Style Your Own Keyboard, then switch to the Effects tab and choose any keyboard effects you'd like. You can even change the sound. I personally love the Retro Touch because it sounds like a tactile keyboard. Really satisfying. There's also a ton of other things that you can do to improve the Samsung keyboard. One of them lets you literally enhance the accuracy. You just go into the keyboard settings, tap more typing options, and enable enhance accuracy. From there, if you'd like a way to make it easier to type while you're using the phone in landscape, go within the keyboard settings, go into mode, and switch the landscape view to split keyboard. That way the keyboard gets split in half, making it easier to type with your thumbs. Finally, we can't forget about all the different ways that Samsung lets you modify your photos and videos, or even GIFs. That's right, within the Samsung Gallery app, you can edit a GIF by trimming it, changing its aspect ratio, changing its speed, adding extra pictures, and even adding extra effects. It's one of the only phones that let you do this. There's also a secret menu hidden inside the Gallery app, which Samsung really doesn't want you to know about. To enable it, go into the Gallery app, Tap on the hamburger menu, settings, about gallery, tap the version number multiple times until you see a toast message that says gallery labs is enabled. Then go back to reveal a new menu that wasn't there before called gallery labs. In here, you can enable multiple features. Some of my new favorites include this one called album entry locks, which lets me lock albums behind a fingerprint or the face unlock. I can also enable a feature that lets me save any pictures as a PDF. You just need to enable support 
save as PDF, restart the app, and then you'll see the new option when you long press a picture or multiple ones, hit create and choose save as PDF. The PDF will then be found within your storage. There's also an option that lets me print multiple pictures at the same time. It's called support print multiple pictures, enable it, restart the app, long press multiple pictures within the pictures tab, tap more and then print. You should then see all those pictures on different pages within the printer preview. And finally, for those times when you want to take a group picture, but don't want to leave anyone out, you can enable a secret setting that lets you take photos by simply saying certain words like smile, cheese, capture, or shoot. Plus you can even record videos by simply saying record video. It's very useful. So to enable it, just go into the camera settings, choose shooting modes and enable voice commands. Anyways, click this video right here to learn about 30 completely different Samsung features that are also hidden and just as useful. Thumbs up if you learned something new. And also be sure to tag the Galaxy S23 and S23 Ultra within the YouTube product tag feature sponsored by YouTube themselves. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Kapow!